Wow, this was a crazy rate right here. Family of transgender uh, George County team grateful for DeWine's uh, veto, ready to keep fighting. Yeah. As it is currently written, a controversial transgender bill vetoed by Governor Mike DeWine. House Bill 68 would put a ban on gender affirming care for minors and transgender athletes in girls and women's sports. Here's why the Republican governor says he vetoed the Republican led legislation. Parents have looked me in the eye and have told me that but for this treatment, their child would be dead. And youth who have transitioned to a new gender have told me that they are thriving today because of that transition. The House and Senate can overrule the veto and still pass this law. They would need three-fifths majority in each vote. Now, the governor did say that he believes each side of the issue sincerely believe that their position best protects children. Tonight, our Kelly Kennedy sat down with a local family who has a transgender daughter. She joins us live now with their emotional story. Kelly. Yeah, Chris, I spoke with the parents of a Geauga County transgender teenager, and they were both surprised, but of course happy with the governor's decision. They tell me their daughter would likely not be here today if it wasn't for the gender-affirming care that she received. Ember Zelch has loved to sing and act for as long as her parents, Minna and Chris, could remember. And I always say I'm not going to cry, and I always do. She loved theater. She loved to sing. She sang through her whole day. But when the Geauga County child hit puberty, everything changed. When she got to high school and had to choose a world language credit, she chose American Sign Language so that she wouldn't have to hear her own voice. That's where she was. See, their daughter was assigned male at birth. She came out to her parents as transgender when she was 13 years old. It was like a ton of bricks hitting me and didn't know anything about what to do, what the next steps were. The first step was finding the right therapist with the proper training to help their child transition. Then after years of counseling, Ember started taking hormones at 16 and she found her voice again. It was Christmas Eve at our church. And she sang Silent Night as a solo for the first time in two years. And everyone cried because our whole church knew exactly what she'd been going through. And that's the message that we want people to see what gender affirming care does. On Friday, Governor Mike DeWine vetoed HB 68. The bill would have banned gender affirming care for minors. Everyone thinks it's surgeries. It's, you know, harmful medications. And that's not true. Gender affirming care includes calling a patient by the name they ask you to call them by. The bill would have also banned transgender athletes' participation in girls' and women's sports. Ember played softball in high school, and it wasn't easy. She had to prove through medical records that she didn't have any physiological advantage. Republicans do have the majority in the legislature, so they could override the governor's veto. How concerned are you about that? Um... Definitely very concerned um, about an override. And um, so a lot of people were going to be working really hard to try and help them understand the importance of the governor's words and why he did what he did. Well, the legislature reconvenes in January, so we'll have to wait and see what they decide. Now, about 20 other states already have similar legislation in place. Reporting live, Kelly Kennedy.